accessing the super conscious mind. That's what I want to talk to you today about, give you some more insights and awareness, how you can tap into this unlimited field that exists of infinite information. That's where everybody, everything gets their insights. And that's what I'm going to show you today is accessing the super conscious mind. So what is the super conscious mind? So the super conscious mind is basically the mind that where everything is stored, where all the entire information of everything about the entire universe, what's out there, what's created, any ideas, any dreams, anything you ever want or desire is stored in the super conscious mind. The super conscious mind is referred to the mind of God because any genius ideas, invention, inspired action, wealth, health, psychic abilities, anything to deliberately create your life by design is only found in the super conscious mind. And you have to access the super conscious mind through a particular method. The mind goes in the following format, conscious, critical divide, subconscious, super conscious, outside of that higher self. So let's talk about how it works. Subconscious holds database of information. Subconscious is programmed. When you get any type of inspired action, any type of genius ideas, you're plugged into the super conscious mind. It filters from the superconscious, goes to your subconscious, converts your subconscious into something that can think or give you ideas, and then you see them through actions, habits, intuition, superconscious mind. Here's something else you need to know. Higher self can see the entire program. Higher self is outside looking at everything. Higher self actually sees subconscious conscious super conscious higher self can go to super conscious get information bring it right to you bypass conscious subconscious and just brings information when higher self works it works through intuition works through feeling works through a voice super conscious will communicate to you with ideas inspired action higher self will communicate to you intuition psychic abilities feelings. Superconscious, higher self, one in the same, but different aspects of the same thing. I want you to understand that. Superconscious is free for everyone. Everyone and anyone can access superconscious mind. All ideas. Have you ever noticed that when you think of something, maybe you have an idea, you want to create something. You may want to create something. And then something says, Nah, that'll never work. Then a week later, your idea, someone else has your idea and they're making a lot of money. You say, man, they how they got my idea? I was the only one thinking about this. They stole it. No, they didn't steal it. That idea came from superconscious. Superconscious gives it out. He says, who wants it? Okay, you don't want it. The next person is open is going to get it. So that's what I'm showing you. Every idea you have, everything that comes in, comes from that superconscious. That's why that old saying goes, there's nothing new under the sun. Everything is already out there. So if you want to access the superconscious, here are some ways to do it. Only can access the superconscious properly through meditation, deep meditation. Access the superconscious through what's called transcendental meditation. That's a deep meditation where you close your eyes and you make a vibrational sound like this. Close your eyes and go. When your breath goes down, take another deep breath, repeat the process. The voice, the sound you make sort of like ohm, it's like a um, a very powerful vibrational sound. What that does, it creates an energetic pattern along with the mind, within silence. It creates this force, goes out, and it forces your body to become relaxed, natural. When you focus on that um, you're in total focus and connection you're able to access the superconscious mind. You cannot access the superconscious mind through regular thoughts because it doesn't exist as material or thought patterns. 
The superconscious exists in a state of frequency, dimensional energy, vibrational pattern. Superconscious is what we call, refer to, some refer to as ether. It's a field of energetic pattern and vibration. It's not something you can think and say, oh, I'm in the superconscious. No. Superconscious will communicate to you, though, through the most powerful way you know when you're acting superconscious is when you get any inspired action. You're tapping in. And that inspired action is, fu is funneled to you. So here's the next thing about the superconscious. Superconscious works with your higher self. So you just don't go to the superconscious and say, oh, give it to me. No, your higher self is sort of like the middle person between you and the superconscious. So anything you get from the superconscious and it comes to you, it's always coming through your higher self. Higher self takes information, brings it to you, passes it to your subconscious. Everything has to go through your subconscious because your subconscious is infinite. It's a database. It can store and hold all that information. There's nothing else in your mind that can do that. Your superconscious, higher self, never put information and bypass your subconscious. In other words, the information will never just go to your conscious mind because it's incapable of accessing such highly advanced way of information. So what are the benefits of the superconscious? High intuition, genius ideas, flow, high positivity, high confidence, high inspired action, creative ideas, psychic abilities, a highly, highly tuned intuition, things that you can see beyond others, the feeling, premonitions, the dreams, all that is produced in the superconscious. So what are the best ways? Transcendental meditation, diet, avoid foods that make you feel anxious, irritated, hyper, plenty of rest, plenty of sleep. What else? Focusing. But the most important, plenty of sleep, diet. And one most important tip that you can access your superconscious is opening your third eye, pineal gland. Once you can open your third eye, you're one step, you're that much closer. Because the third eye can communicate with the superconscious mind. So, there you have it. So you want to get into superconscious. When you get into superconscious state, everything comes. You know, actually, when you get into the superconscious state, you're actually bypassing what I call the law of attraction. Because the law of attraction is just going to do its thing. It's always a fundamental force. But when you can just stay in superconscious mind state, man, it's a whole new world. You see beyond things. You, you're seeing everything once, two steps before it even happens. Because you're not in physical reality, you're in the immaterial, you're in the back source of it. That ether, that energy, zero point field of all this energy. So you're seeing the things before it actually manifests into this physical. So that means you can take steps, you can be ahead of the game, and you can be ahead of the curve. You can get insights, you can get premonitions, all this from the superconscious. So there you go, you have some good break, uh, beginning groundwork to access a superconscious. This is a beginner's guide. I mean, there's more advanced things that you can do depending on each individual. But for beginners, these are a great start. And it's not something that you're going to do instantly. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you, yeah, just do these things and automatically you'll be in the superconscious. It's going to take a little time if you haven't done this or you haven't been exposed or become aware of this information. Because you've got, you got to get your mind into tune, into a discipline and focus. But that's it. So now you know accessing your superconscious. All right. Thanks, guys.